Hi there. This is a first for me. Um, I'm going live on YouTube for a change. I do have um, a few, I think about six uh, videos from Granny Ross on, uh, on YouTube already. So hopefully this one will be uh, another one to add to that. Um, I, I usually go around, wandering around um, in my little caravan, my crochet caravan. And then I take you into the polytone around the land to see the chickens and the chicks and the geese. And uh, we also have a cow buttercup. So I do wander around and take you. But today I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes and um, maybe share with you uh, one of my latest projects which I've been doing. And um, in the future, if this one works out all right, maybe I'll, I'll keep coming back and just making another video um, live like this one. Um, I've done quite a few Facebook live videos where I sit in my little caravan. Um, so maybe I'll be in there one day doing this as well. Um, I, I've got all my crochet things all there around me. So at the moment, I'm sitting in, in, in our bus. I'm maybe show, show, showing you around that another time. Um, I'm not showing you around my bus at the minute. No. <laughs> no, because I've got the cooker here. This is the bus seat look and... Uh, it's a big school bus, and we've got the behind this curtain here is our bedroom area, and across here is the sink. And the reason I'm not showing you this is because the sink needs quite a few uh, pots washing up. So instead of doing the washing up, I'm doing what all grannies do and playing on the video. <laughs> and well, I don't know whether all grannies do this, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> But I do have washing up to do, so uh, I thought, right, I'll do this instead. So what I'm doing at the minute, then, I'm, I'm just going to show you, first of all, this hook. This is my one of my latch hooks. I usually use a, a bigger one. I'll show you that. I do happen to have a box here with some things in, so yeah, there we go. So that's what I usually use to do my uh, beginner's crochet with. That's a latch hook. And uh, this one today I'm going to show you is a little tiny one like this. Now, this um, is what I used years with my knitting machine. It's a knitting machine tool. But because it's so tiny, I can do more finer work with it. And um, I've got a really easy project for beginners to do. Um, I recycle doilies. I've actually got... I've actually got a bag full of doily bits here. Look, I don't know whether you can see those. Let's turn it on. Oh, look, there's one. Yeah, I take sort of the middle out of them. You can see sometimes you can get a, a table runner that goes in the middle of a table and it's got all these circles on it, which are the same like six to eight circles. And if I find one of those in the charity shops, I can, I can take them. And we not many people these days do use these doilies, do they, and put them in the houses. And there's a lot used to be done in the past, so they're hanging around in charity shops and in, in people's drawers. So I started recycling them, and, and I've made um, oh, I made an, one for my for my mom. My mom this year she turned a hundred years old in April. Hundred, yeah. And I the same time, the same week, in fact, my mum had me three days before her 30th birthday. So I turned 70 three days before my mum turned 100. So that's that's a little story. But um, I have here how to, you can work on these little, these doilies, these recycled doilies. Um, this, is, this is one of them, look. This is quite an easy one. And my latch hooking, if you've seen my videos, um, this one has just got chain and slip stitch all the way around the outside into these uh, holes that you can see that I've left when I've done, undone the um, when I've taken the centre out of the doily and I've left a little hole here here to work into and then I've done a chain all the way around and then I've done another chain just hooking into the loops into the center here just there so the first round goes around like this hooking into the white loops 
of the doily and the second round goes round here. Okay, so that's how that one is done. And then there's another similar one here, different color. We don't, you don't see, you can find doilies like this one with lots of colors, but um, generally they're, they're often beige or white in color, aren't they? Um, as you saw in, in my bag, you, you get the, these ones that are beige in color. Just show you what I mean. There, look, that's, that's just not, the color's not coming out very well, I think here for you, but that is actually beige compared with the white one. So I'll show you another one. Here's another one done slightly differently. I'm going to make this, I think, into a curtain. I thought it might be nice and colourful if I join them together and make a curtain out of them. That one's a little bit different because when I when I did the I like things to be asymmetrical. I don't like everything to be round and, and, and so on. So I, I actually left another little round circle here. And I've managed to go around that as well to make it a different shape. I like to see if I can make different shapes out of things. So that's my video for today. Well, that's my little snippet. I do like to call these snippets. If you've watched my video before, you'll know I've started using snippets. It's quite a long snippet, this one. It's, uh, it's six and a half minutes long. So I'm going to love you and leave you and let you watch this video at some point. And, um, and that's my video for today. I hope you join me. I've got a Facebook group. If you go onto Facebook, you can see my Facebook page and my Facebook group. Now, Facebook pe my Facebook page um, is um, Learn to crochet the easy way. And that's what this is all about. Learn to crochet the easy way. My Facebook group has a little bit dif difficult, uh, different, quite unusual name. It's Easy Platform Crochet for Beginners. Because this whole project is for beginners. And um, it's called Platform because it's sort of play on words because a lot of what I do is freeform crochet. And um, you might need to look that one up to see what freeform, freeform crochet is all about. But uh, I call it Easy Platform Crochet for Beginners. And uh, if you'd like to join me on that group, then do, do get in touch and uh, look that up on Facebook. Um, 